What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you were awesome, and Narbash is objectively the best hero in Fault right now. Today I'm going to tell you why that is and how you too can dominate with Big Daddy Bash. First though, I need to talk about some of the fixes that Strange Matter has implemented. The most important one was the Founders and Master Packs being DLC. That was never intended, Steam separated those out like that, and it's been corrected. Now if you buy a Master Pack, you get the full game. Even when it was broken, buying the base game and the Master Pack together was the same cost as just buying the Master Pack. Steam fucked everybody on this one. They also adjusted the amount of matter you receive after a match, so it's a bit easier to grind out heroes like Narbash or Skins. Most of the bugs have also been corrected, however, I still encounter some weird stuff from time to time, like if Boris is in the match, still and Bellica's health bars disappear. I also get some frame rate drops, as you'll see in the footage. But, uh, but that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about Narbash. As always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Now, the main reason Narbash is killing it in Fault is the Bishop Aspect. You can pick two aspects at the beginning of the game that provide two useful passive effects that can enhance your playstyle. The White Bishop Aspect makes your potions last longer, which is kind of meh, but the second effect causes your heals and shields to increase the attack speed of the recipients by 15% for 3 seconds. With Song of My People giving an AoE heal all around Narbash, he can give his entire team an attack speed increase while healing them. Seems good, right? But wait, there's more! If you pick up the Blue Magician Aspect, which gives you 0.5% of your missing mana every second, you can pretty much just keep the song rolling at all times mid-game while having enough mana to thunk speed boost or ult. The second effect for Magician ain't too shabby either. Every time you thunk someone, you shave 2 seconds off of your ultimate cooldown. So building Magician and Bishop with plenty of mana will allow you to constantly heal, provide attack speed, lower your cooldowns, and your potions last longer! Trust me, the first three completely eclipse the uselessness of the potions thing. If you're looking for a build to use on Narbash, I used the one that Windu the Mace put out. Um, I figured the Magician Bishop thing out on my own, but I didn't think of building so much mana. I got that from Windu. Check his channel out link below to get all kinds of great builds for different roles. So that takes care of your aspects and build, but I do have some other tips for how to dominate. The number one thing I did to tremendously up my game with Narbash was change Thunk to Quick Cast. You'll notice in the clips that you never see me hold Thunk, nor do you ever see a change in the targeting reticle. When I Thunk, it comes out of nowhere and without warning. This takes some getting used to, and the standard reticle tends to get lost in the minions, but once you have this down, being able to insta-cast Thunk will be both an offensive and defensive blessing. Tip 2 is to use your emblem. If you played Fault, you may have noticed the emblem in your item slots. That's a free ward. I have that bound to my G key. Strange Matter is giving you a ward to use for free right off the bat, so use it. Tip 3. Pick up Scrystone as your first item. Yes, you get wards for free, but you're looking for the passive effect here that awards you with gold for damaging enemies or healing allies. Having this sucker will greatly increase the amount of gold you get since you shouldn't be taking last hits from your carry and you're going to be healing all the time anyway. You can buy this and a mana pot at the beginning of the match. You won't need that mana pot after a few items, but it's nice to have early. Tip 4. Thunk aggressively. Put a drumstick into the enemy carry's brain anytime you can. If you're up against a steel or muriel support without heals, you can force the carry out of lane by yourself. Do be aware that you still need to hold on to Thunk if you fear a possible jungle gank, but if you feel safe, then Thunk away. You see in the footage that every time this Sparrow steps forward to farm, I Thunk her. If you have a good aggressive carry with you, these Thunks will eventually result in kills. Tip 5. Once you're 10 minutes in and the enemy lane is suppressed, Rotate over for Raptors, let your carry get the last hits and the favors so they can boost their cards. I kind of messed this up in an earlier video, whenever you get favor it doesn't boost your aspects, it boosts your cards. Like if you have the red aspect and a red card, there might be a line on that card that says, you know, for every point of favor you get uh, an in like a .5 increase in attack power or something like that. So that's what the favor is for, it'll make your carry go nuts. So yeah, if you do all of this and dominate your lane early, your carry will be unstoppable. As long as the rest of your team is playing half decent, the rest of the game will just be a breeze. Building and playing Narbash like this does have an Achilles heel though, Bellica. Building a bunch of mana and then running around at like an eighth of your mana at all times means that Bellica's ult will pop you like a big green balloon, so beware. 
That's all the tips I have for you today. Now that Strange Matter has implemented several bug fixes and a bit more optimization, I'm having a great time playing. I'll go ahead and keep running some highlights in the background, but for now, this is the Man Goose signing off. You guys have a good one. Man, goo!